Hello everyone, I'm just um, coming to you with another haul. You know I love shopping. <laughs> so I went to Joanne's, um, I think it was the day before yesterday, and their Halloween stuff is like 60% off. So I got this um, little sign with the little witch with bat wings and pumpkin. That was cute. Um, it was supposed to be $14.99. I think I got it for like four or something so um yeah so I got this one and then I also got this one this one I like a lot this one says if I could back it up the wicked witches in so probably hang that on um, my door to my room that's cute Okay, other things that I got was um, this sticker kind of thing. And it, all their stickers for um, scrapbooking were 40% off, so it's a good deal. And so and it has magic on there. And I just liked some of the things that it said. Good fortune. Um, you know, it's kind of a pretty witchy um theme going on so like that I got some more markers and this time it's the pale hues and these are mainly for skin tone colors so I'm just gonna um, practice using these and I'll show you um, later what that's about um, here's some uh, Halloween bottles so um, just um, moves around little balls inside again 40% off totally cute this I found um, for a dollar in their little um, section where they had um, a bunch of little different like um, cardboard and wood cutouts and stuff like that. So I'm going to alter this and um, make it into um, a mini book of shadows for traveling. So that would be a um, good idea to have. So I also got this one and it has like potion and witch on it. I like the ones where the witch, they don't look ugly so <laughs> um, those are my favorite kind. Um, double Double Toil and Trouble and a little cauldron um, and some more cute little ones. These ones just are a bunch of tags with different like potion tags and i uh, show us in the back here. He's my dog. He's so nosy. Um, so it has snake venom and bat spleen, toe frog, bat wings, and um, witch's brew, and a whole bunch of different stuff. So I'd grab that for 40% off. And I got this ribbon. Um, I'm obsessed with ribbons, so um, it was 40% off, so I got it. <laughs> um, I got these, uh, these were 60% off the Martha Stewart, um, because it's Halloween, or almost to Halloween, and it says, which is elix elixir, and, um, what does it say, oh, um, arachnids, sorry I don't have my glasses on, <laughs> um, and frog syrup brew. So I thought that was cute, and they, um, they're like stickers, so you just stick them on your wine ba bottles, and um, so I like that, because I um, collect wine bottles, and um, I like to peel the sticker off and then just reuse them and put um, oils in there or, or whatever, so. And then, this was also 60% off, um, some... Halloween ribbon, so I was like, um, I gotta grab that. And this one, um, is a, it was 40% off. Also, all their clean stamps and stamps were 40% off, um, at Joann's. And so, um, I saw this and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. And then there's this, um, you look closer and they're actually like little, well, most of them are like little animals. This is a hummingbird, and I love hummingbirds. This one's a ladybug. Um, this one's just a flower. 
This one is a dragonfly, but it looks, but you can see in the middle that there's a little bird in there. So, um, pretty clever how they did that. And this one has a little fairy in it. So, yeah, I love this stamp, so I'm like, I had to get it. Yep. And the last one is this one. And it's a uh, mover and shaker Tim Holtz, um or shakers, mover and shapers, um, Tim Holtz die, and Tim Holtz is pretty popular in the scrap world, so, um, I got this for a couple different reasons, because, um, they kind of look like headstones, for one, you can use them as headstones, um, two, you could use them for, like, little houses, and, um, Three would probably look like a um, cool big fence if you, if I was to do a bigger project um, using these. So you can like cut out multiple of these and use them as fences or whichever ones. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I could think, um, come up with more ideas on this, but um, I thought I'd grab this. I used my 40% off coupon on this um, versus the markers because I really wanted it and it was the only one left. So I got that. Um, and that is the end of my haul, and um, I hope you enjoyed that. Actually, um, I did order some stuff online, and I'll grab that real quick, so okay. I'll be right back. So, um, this, um, her channel is called Lisa Diaz or something like that, and um, she's a scrapper. And so she drove down, I think she lives in Florida, and she drove down to a shop where she could get really good deals or and stuff. So um, she had uh, her shop online on Facebook, and um, she, did a, a bun she sold a bunch of stuff. So for really good prices, I mean, most of the stuff was like a dollar a yard, a dollar for a bushel, um, you know, and I think the... Probably most expensive it would have gotten was like a dollar fifty for a yard or something like that. So I got a bunch of things, and then she also gave me a gift because um, I actually ordered twice from her because she reloaded, so I got more stuff. And she gave me this kind of like I don't know what this is called, but I'm gonna call it um, a mesh bling. <laughs> so yeah. Um, That'd be, I think, cool to, like, lay on a page or do some mixed media with that. Um, I think I'm going to open another channel. I've been, like, um, thinking about it or maybe just, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because I was thinking about um, opening another channel and making that channel just my, um, like, artsy, scrappy channel and leaving um, this channel to what it was. I'm probably going to post this on both of my channels. So either my nail channel or my um, witchy channel. So I just want to, I'm like, I'm always like organized like that. I always like to keep things like separated and stuff. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, if I should just open another channel or I should just, um, continue to what I'm doing with showing you with all my scraps so I don't know um, so I got this this is a dollar a yard and it's super pretty some trim and I thought it'd be pretty to put on mm, the books or whatever I tend to make with everything that I get <laughs> And these are stick pins, and usually they just um, make an arrangement with the flowers, and then they stick it in there, and, um, yeah, sorry, my dog's in the background. That was only a dollar, and this, excuse me, my dogs are so nosy. Wheezy, no, go, go, both of you, go. Okay, so here's another trim and wouldn't that be pretty on like putting it on something like that so um, it's just like a 
plastic made to look like pearls. And then also I got a black one, which this one's kind of like my favorite one. I like dark colors. <laughs> I can even open this and show you. Okay, so this one looks like that. And it's really pretty. It has a bling in the middle. And so, I mean, that would be gorgeous up on that. So I got some of that. And then she was also selling some paper flowers. And these are like freaking expensive at like if you buy them at Joann's in like the wedding section. I think it's like six bucks for like a little pack of these. And um, she was selling them for a dollar, I think. A dollar to a dollar fifty for a bushel of them. So these are the different colors that I got. I got like a um, champagne cream green, um, like a wine color. This is kind of like a, I don't know what these this color is called. Like a dark turquoise, bluish green. This one's um, red, kind of like a brick red. And this one's like a light blue. So those are made out of paper. And then this one I also, is, um, this one's the same trim as this, but just in a cream color. And then also this uh, trim here. Let me see if I can open and show you. See, it's really pretty. I like that trim. And you can do so many things with this stuff. Make it look, uh stack it on top of each other, you know. Yeah. Like that. And I also got some of these black it. Um, kind of like pearl beads. And on my fairy book, um, you see the white pearl beads, so I figured I'd get some of this. It was, I think this one was like 50 cents a yard, so I got a couple of yards of that. And these last ones, these are, um, these flowers are bigger than these other ones. You can see bigger. But these ones, instead of being made out of paper, they are made out of, um, I don't know what they're made out of. I think like clay or something. I don't know, but they're really cool and they're hard and you probably alter the color by like spraying some black mist or using your, um, um, ink pads to kind of ink them up and distress them more so and then I got some little rose buds and these are made out of paper so there's those are super cute so that is it for my haul um thank you for watching and have a blessed day bye bye